Here's my gripe with the feminine hygiene industry as a whole. I have been watching feminine hygiene commercials my entire life. I just have one question. Who in the hell is bleeding aqua blue? It's your girl Asia the MUA back with another video if this is your first time here your first time seeing my face welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video I hope you stick around until the end if however this is not your first time here you already know what time it is hey a lister how you doing I'm so sorry guys if my speech is a little like wonky right now. I'm trying to get used to wearing my shiny smile veneers and actually speaking with them so that I become more comfortable with it. I have a video about it coming up I think after this video so make sure you turn on your post notifications and stay tuned for that. As you can see in the title of this video we talking about a whole different thing honey. It is 2020 and we are not hiding our periods anymore. Every woman gets it once a month, just like every other woman. I don't get why there is like such a big stigma around a woman's menstrual cycle. It's one of the most natural things that our body does. I don't know why people get so weirded out when it's time to talk about it. Like, I never understood that. Let me, let me, let me backtrack a little. Not people. I don't know why men get so wound up when it's time to talk about it. It's something everybody does. If your mom didn't do it, you wouldn't be here. So I am 30. <laughs> I'm about to tell y'all how old I am. I am 35 years old. I have been getting my period since I was 10. So I have been menstruating once a month every month aside from the year that I was pregnant once a month every month for 25 years okay here's my gripe with the feminine hygiene industry as a whole I have been watching feminine hygiene commercials my entire life I just have one question who in the hell is bleeding aqua blue in all of my days, I just recently saw a commercial that had, you know how they do the, the liner demo, the pad demo, whatever the hell it is they're doing, that looks absolutely nothing like what an actual period is. So when they do the thing, they pour the little liquid on the pad. I just saw a commercial that had like, and it wasn't even red. It was like, like pink. So... <laughs> It was like gold star for effort, but that's not what it is. I don't understand why we can't just depict what it is. The shit hurts. It's annoying. It's inconvenient. We got to pay for it every month. We have to pay for what our bodies naturally do every month. And for a very long time, we also paid a tax on paying for sanitary products once a month, every month, for 25 years. So, with all that being said, my rant is over, I promise. <laughs> it's just so crazy to me that the actual thing that literally regulates the flow of life is shoved off to a dark corner in the pharmacy section, like... Why y'all do us like that? Just flat out another option than the tampons or panty liners or pads that you can buy from the pharmacy, the grocery store, Target, wherever you get your products from. I was contacted by a company called Hi Ho. No, it's not Hi Ho. It's Hi O. Hi O. But anyway, this company makes reusable, washable panty liners. And I know it sounds a little weird because when they first emailed me, I was like, hold up, sis, pause. What you mean reusable pads? 
But when you think about it, it's not like a foreign concept. Babies wear washable diapers all the time. So it's really not a difference. So once I read up on it, did some more research on the company, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to give y'all a try. I'm going to give y'all a try. So they sent me the whole little starter kit. It comes with this cute little bag. Inside comes six of these little super, super soft liners. They come with little buttons that you can fasten. It's adjustable to whatever you need, whatever you desire, whatever is most comfortable for you. I have been using these for the past few months. And let me tell you, I was skeptical at first, but they actually work really well. <laughs> the material, the material that the liners is made out of is so soft. It's so comfortable. I'm pretty sure everybody out there knows what it feels like to have a pad bunching up under your butt and making you feel super uncomfortable. This is completely different. These liners are so soft, they're so comfortable to wear. They're really easy to use. They're really convenient and my budget for my sanitary products has been cut into a fraction of what I was spending before I was like gifted with this amazing revolutionary set. All right, so let's talk about some pros and cons. As I stated before, the material is so soft. It's so comfortable. It's literally like having a blanket on your badge while you're bleeding out of it, which is really comforting, actually. <laughs> so not only are they super soft, but they're super comfortable. I don't get the bunching. I don't get the diaper feel that I have when I wear traditional sanitary napkins, which is really, really cool because that's one of the things that deters me from wearing pads is the feeling of like wearing a wet, soggy diaper for the entire day. That shit's gross. And I hate that feeling. So this gives me something totally different. This material, not only is it super soft and super comfortable, it is super freaking absorbent. I have a heavy flow in a wide set vagina. <laughs> no but seriously my first day is usually pretty light my second day is the killer the third day is usually pretty awful as well the fourth day is when it started to taper off and the fifth day is when I have barbecue sauce but that second and third day I am bleeding like a stuck freaking pig I kid you not so these being super absorbent these being washable, these being really soft and comfortable are a lot of pros on, on, on this side of the, the list, okay? So let's talk about the cons. I feel like whatever product you decide to use for your feminine hygiene and sanitary needs, it's gonna be some element of messiness that comes along with it. Having a period is a messy thing. Like, let's just keep it 100. Like. I'm not neat when I'm on my period. When I'm pulling that tampon string out, sometimes that shit flies all over the place. And I have a whole murder scene in my bathroom that I have to clean up while I'm cramping and it feels like an army stomping on my uterus. So, you know, it's just a lot that be going on. So one of the biggest cons for me is these are great when I'm at home because usually when I take one off, I'll take it off and I'll throw it directly in the washer and I won't have to think about the element of mess that comes with a reusable maxi pad. But if I'm out, like, the hell I'm supposed to do? <laughs> so I have never actually worn these outside of the house. I usually save these for the days that I know I'm just gonna be hunkered in and not really doing too much and curled up in the fetal position in my bed reconsidering my life choices. I'm trying to think of another kind. I mean, they can get messy, but so can tampons, so can traditional pads, so can the diva cup or whatever it is. So that that's like the only drawback that I can that I can honestly find. They're not practical for use outside of the home. 
But other than that, I've really been enjoying using these. I don't enjoy my periods. Awful. <laughs> but, you know, having a box of pads or tampons last for two months instead of running through them in the first three days of my period is pretty nice. And I feel like it's saving me a few bucks and that's always good. Definitely check it out if it's something you're interested in. I know it's like weird at first, but when you think about it, when you like really sit down and break it down, it makes sense. Now I just need them to make something to take cramps away every month. Oh, and the bloating, the fatigue. Do you guys get forgetful? I get like period brain, almost like pregnancy brain. You get constipated. My feet swell up sometimes. The irritability just be on another level, don't it? I don't have mood swings, I have mood hurricanes. Since I was somebody that hated the feeling of wearing a pad so much, as soon as I was able to, as soon as my mom let me, I started buying tampons. So I probably wore tampons every month for about 15 years. And a couple of years ago, I started to have horrible periods. Like, I mean, I'm calling off work. I'm laying in my bed crying because I'm cramping so bad. My body is in so much pain and I am just like debilitated. I was talking to a friend of mine and she was like, well, what do you use? And I was like, I, I wear tampons, you know, I don't really like the feeling of pads and, you know, it's gross and I hate it. And, you know, you can't wear certain clothes and then, you know, you bleed all over the place and just, you know, staking my claim for tampons. And she was like, that might be what's making things so hard for you. After that, the next month, I bought a box of pads instead of a box of tampons. And I do have to say, my period that month was like totally different than what I had been experiencing in the months prior. My cramps had decreased. I wasn't in pain. I wasn't crying curled up in my bed. And it was just a huge difference. So I was like, okay, it might be something of what she said. Let me chill on the tampons for a little bit and just start wearing pads, which is all fine and dandy, but then I'm still faced with all the, okay, I feel like I'm wearing a diaper, this is gross, and you know, all the things about pads that I hate, but it was what I had to do for my body. So something like this is absolutely awesome for me because I don't feel like I'm wearing a pad because it's not a traditional pad. And it's just so comfortable. It's just so much more comfortable. They're so absorbent and it's just convenient. I usually put them in a wash cycle by themselves. I do put mine in a separate wash and I actually wash them with baby detergent Dreft. I remember that's what I used when I was um, a mother to two small infants. <laughs> But I used Dreft on their clothes because it was really gentle and it's really good for super, super sensitive skin. And that skin down there is super, super sensitive, sis. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please do not hesitate to give a huge thumbs up to this video so you can help boost it. I would really, really appreciate it. The best thing you could do to help this channel right now is to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and watch some videos. I know I've been super MIA, but I got a new camera, I got some new lenses, I got microphones, I got all kind of stuff to really, really help me be more inspired to create beauty content because I'm not doing makeup right now and I really, really just miss it. Like, I haven't done this in forever. So it's just really, really cool to get pretty and be back in front of the camera. And I hope you guys, you know, are patient with me. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you guys are planning on getting out and voting because that is like the most important thing for us right now. I just want to send you all love, peace, and blessings. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourselves. And until next time, stay beautiful.